Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Kevin at Creality and today we're going to work on a beautiful little project that's going to get you some good marks. Uh, we're going to practice making this. Uh, if you're thinking of something you want to make handmade for your girlfriend or for your wife, she is going to love that. You came to the right place. Of course we need a engraver. This one we're going to use the Creality Falcon 10 Watt Pro, the one we're using today. Uh, we need some wood. So we're going to use three millimeter thick wood for this project. We need two pieces of that. Always safety glasses. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, we're going to paint in this project today. So you either need paint or some markers. Markers will work also a little slower, but nicer colors, I think, sometimes. And then also I'm going to use a caliper. We're going to show you why in a little bit. What else do we need? Oh, software. We need Lightburn software on our computer and a file, of course. We'll show you where to get the file from. We'll give you some ideas. All right, let's get started. In this project, we used AI to create our image. We based it on a description. So you can see on our screen, we asked the AI to give us a bear made of roses. Now this is not always going to give you exactly what you need at first. So then show them a picture of a hollowed out line. I'm trying to get a line drawing. This one is a little bit better, a bear, but it's still not a simple line drawing. So we have to keep altering the words that we use with the bear. I want a, a teddy bear with hollow lace-like rose pattern. Okay, he gives me a better drawing. This one's pretty good. Still not quite good enough. Every time you're going to get a different response. This one's way too intricate. I can't use that. Try again, try again. Every time you try, you'll get something different. Finally, I got an image of a teddy bear with a black outline, hollow lace-like pattern. There's roses inside it. This is the one that we can use. After generating this image, we can use Lightburn's trace image feature to, to obtain a framework that, that can be cut out. So now we're taking the AI image into Lightburn, making it into an image that our engraver can finally read. Okay, before we do anything, let's uh, measure this wood just to make sure. I think it's three millimeters, but I don't know what a millimeter is. Let me just check this. And it says it is 2.83. Okay, so it's not quite three millimeters thick. That's the thickness of our wood. Now you can download the parameters for your laser engraver on our website. I'll show you where to do that. We go to the website and go to support and downloads and then scroll down past all of this and here you can find all the parameters. And ours is the 10 watt engraver. Hit download and there you have it. You have the parameters for our 10 watt laser. Now we're cutting this basswood. Uh, the thickness is two to four millimeters, let's say three millimeters. So you can see here this 100% power for cutting. We're at the bottom because we're going to cut it. And about 200 to 350 is the power depending on the thickness of the wood. So we'll say 250 I'm going to try for hours. Okay, so all those parameters are there. You just go to light burn now and that's right here. It's the wrong power. It's at 500. So let me go back change that to 250. Oh, speed. I mean, speed is 250. Power is 100%. Very good. And oh, turn on the air assist because we're doing laser engraving. I can do that right here too. There we go. All right. So now we've got that done. It's better to do, the best way to do it is to do a material test. We're going to do a tutorial video later on on how to do an actual material test. That is the absolute best way to know what speed and what power to do your laser engraving at. But the parameters are very useful. Make sure your laser or your air assist is on and we're ready to go. We're ready to start getting it set up. Let's put our woods in place and we will use our little step to focus our laser, get it in the right direction. I just set it right down, loosen the thumb screw, tighten it up, move it around. There. That's at the right distance. I put it at the three millimeters for the basswood. Easy peasy. Now, let's talk eye protection. 
Nobody, including children, should be around this machine without eye protection on, especially children. Once you turn this on, please don't let anybody come in and look at it without eye protection on. Very dangerous. We really want to make sure everybody is safe. Uh, turning it on. This is a, this little stop switch, lots of people write in and say, I can't get it turned on. They forget to check the stop switch. Turn that, make sure that's up, turn that on, and power up. All right, we've got our eye protection on and we're powered up. All right, we're ready to start. Let's go back to our light burn software and make sure our air assist is on. If you have air assist and then hit frame and we can see the little guide light showing us exactly where it's going to be cutting, the cutting area. And as long as that entire frame is on the wood, I'm happy with that. All right, both of our pieces have been cut. Now it's time to add some color. We're gonna use a marker to make the bow tie just a little bit of darker blue. Also very easy to color this wood with a marker. So a few spots of glue, we'll hold it all together. You can see his bow tie is a little bit darker and I put the pieces back in. I really like how this one turned out. And we did that all with the Creality Falcon 10 watt laser. This is so much you can do with these machines. So if you like this video, thank you so much for joining us. Add a comment down in the comment section. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe. We're gonna make this pattern available on our Discord channel. So you can find the link for our Discord channel in the description below. Thanks a lot for, for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting.